Hey guys, a little change of scenery here. I'm sitting in my living room instead of sitting at my desk, but uh, content is still going to be the same. We are going to plow our way through the introduction paragraph today. It's not going to be very long. It's going to be a three sentence paragraph. Um, so we are going to hopefully you have finished your body paragraph. Uh, remember your body paragraph should have a topic sentence, three lead offs, three follow-ups and a clincher. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sentences in that paragraph. Make sure you have that done first. Now we're looking at our introduction paragraph. I'm gonna go through and title my stuff here. And I'm sorry, my camera's gonna shake a little bit because I'm sitting on my lap, my laptop sitting on my lap. So it may shake a little bit, I'm sorry. Vending machines, um, I think that's what we titled it. I'm going to put my name in here. I'm going to put this down a little bit. That way it's not shaking so much. There we go. Name. Oh, why would my name go in here? Why are you being this way? Oh, here we go. I fixed it. Name. And put my core. I suppose I was having all kinds of technical difficulties. And put my core. Okay, I have argument already circled for you, so you don't have to worry about doing that part. I'm gonna move my camera down a little bit. So let's actually skip, and instead of doing our hook right away, let's go down and do our thesis statement first. So in our thesis statement, which we don't call them thesis statements for argument essays, when we talk about argument essays, we don't call them theses; we call them position statements. Because it's where you fall. Um, in uh, what your position is, where you fall in the argument. Okay, so when we looked at our quote or our prompt, our prompt told us that we needed to decide which argument we agreed with more. The argument about not having vending machines or the argument about having vending machines. So in this statement, we need to make sure that we are telling our reader which statement or which argument we agree with more. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here so you can see it. And our position statement is going to be really easy. We're just going to tell them that I agree with the argument that vending machines should be allowed in schools. Remember, you can pause the video if I'm typing too quickly. I know I type pretty fast for some of you. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to to make sure you get caught up here. In this position statement, we're explaining right here that this is the position that I agree with more. I agree more with the argument that vending machines should be allowed in schools. That is our position. That is where we stand. We are telling the reader what the argument is about vending machines, that they should be allowed, and what we, or what, uh, we think, which is that we agree with the statement. Everything in our essay is going to tie back to this position, position statement. So our body paragraph that we just finished writing should talk about why we agree with vending machines being allowed in schools, which we did. Our body paragraph talked about um, how it raises money, um, how it provides choice for, um, for healthy snacks, and how it keeps our students safer. So those are reasons as to why our vending, vending machines should be allowed. Now we're gonna hop up here and we're gonna do our hook. Now remember, our hook is gonna be some way to draw the reader in. Our hook can be either a question, it can be an interesting fact, it can be a short story. Um, we are going to go you can choose any of these, um, and I'm going to let you choose which one you want to do. If you want to do something different than what I have, that's totally fine. I think I'm going to choose a question, um, just because I think questions are probably the easiest of the three. So my question is going to be this. Should vending machines be allowed in schools? really simple question and it kind of it already preps our reader 
on what the paragraphs are going to be about. The paragraphs are going to be about vending machines and if they should be allowed in schools or not. Or the essay, I mean, not the, well, the paragraphs too, but the essay is going to be about that. So my hook is drawing my reader in by asking a question. Should vending machines be allowed in schools? Now we have to move into our overview transition section. Now in this section, we need to prep our reader on what they're going to be reading about in the next paragraphs and in the essay in general. So for this particular essay, the best way to go about the overview is to kind of set up the argument. What are we talking about? What is the environment? Why is, why is this argument even happening? Right, so if we look back in our text, and I'm gonna pull up the text here in just a minute. I should have had it pulled up before, but I didn't. So give me just a second here to have the article pulled up. So I'm gonna read through the first part of both of these articles. So this says, welcome fellow parents and teachers. Thank you for joining us at this special meeting of the Parent Teacher Association. Okay, so I know from that information that this is happening, there's like a meeting going on where this is kind of being proposed. Um, down here it says, good evening everyone. Thanks again for joining us tonight to discuss an important topic, installing vending machines in our schools. Okay, again, we're talking about a meeting of some kind where this is being proposed. And if I look at my prompt, it says, imagine you were a parent in the audience when these speeches were delivered. So I'm going to include that in this paragraph. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to kind of set this up and talk about um, why these articles or why these arguments are being made. I'm going to say um, parents and teachers at a parent teacher association meeting. Sorry, I have my paper over here on the side. Are trying to decide if vending machines should be installed in schools. So what I did here was I set up the problem. I explained it so my reader knows why this is being proposed in the first place. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and I gotta move myself so I can zoom out here. Go down here. And I'm gonna zoom out so I can read this entire thing all together. Okay, it says, should vending machines be allowed in schools? Parents and teachers at a parent-teacher association meeting are trying to decide if vending machines should be installed in schools. I agree with the argument that vending machines should be allowed in schools. Okay, reading this, I'm seeing a problem. I'm using the, the phrase in schools a lot. So I'm going to change it a little bit, I think. I'm going to use a different phrase other than like in schools. I'm gonna say um, parents and teachers should be in a parent teacher associated meeting are trying to decide if vending machines should be install installed um, I'm gonna use the words on campus now a campus um, is any place where a school is so it's not just like a college campus um, it could be like where Van Wert Middle School and High School, that's a campus. Um, it's the area where the school is located. So I changed it a little bit here. Um, so it says, should vending machines be allowed in schools? Parents and teachers at a parent teacher association meeting are trying to decide if vending machines should be installed on campus. I agree with the state, the argument that vending machines should be allowed in schools. Okay. We could even change the word aloud a little bit here. And I could say, um, should vending machines um, be present in schools? So I could change it a little bit there too. That way I'm not repeating myself so much. This is a really important step that we make sure we go back and we proofread through or we read through everything again, because when you read through it together, you may realize that you're repeating yourself a lot and you don't want to do that. Um, so I'm 
If you took the extra step, if you took the time to read through everything again, make sure you have everything that you uh, that I have here on my paragraph diagram. If you do, then you are all set. Um, you may go ahead and continue on to the next activity. If you have any questions, you can pop into our Zoom office hours. You can drop a comment on Google Classroom or you can send us an email. Bye guys.